Okay, so again, please go to the back of your packet where there's a blank sheet of paper. We need to review a construction from unit one before we start anything today. All right, so what I, all I need you to do right now, freehand it, sketch it, no compass needed, draw an angle for me. Draw any angle, we're gonna copy it. All right, we're gonna review how to copy an angle. Okay, let's review how to copy an angle. I won't ask, so we can go quick here. First thing is draw yourself a ray, please. Draw yourself a ray that we're gonna copy it onto. Hopefully we remember what a ray was. Okay, draw yourself a ray, we're gonna copy the angle onto. Okay, now you're gonna take your compass right now. You're gonna take your compass point, put it on the vertex of the angle. And some of you may remember what to do from here. Put the compass on the vertex of your angle and you're gonna make an arc mark through both rays of the angle. So it looks something like this, okay, and going through both rays. Go on over to the end point of your ray. Go on over, don't open or close your compass afterwards, just go over the end point of your ray and make that same arc that goes through the ray. So all I've done is make two arc marks now. All good, questions? Okay, now moving on, go back to the ray, go back to the angle you're copying and notice the two points of intersection on each of the rays. I'd like you to open up your compass that length. You're not making any arc marks. All you're doing is using your compass to measure the distance between each point of intersection. So I'm gonna take my compass, put each the, the compass point and the pencil on both points of intersection, just so I know how, what to open up my compass to. And then we're gonna come back over to the ray. Anybody remember where I have to put my compass point now? Cause there's two options. I could put it on the end point or where the arc intersected the ray. Anybody remember where I should put it here? It's a little, Will? Where the arc intersects the ray, yes. So I'm gonna put my compass point here to make a second arc that intersects that first one. And then once you have those two points, you can Grab your straight edge back and draw in this other part of the angle, the other ray. Everybody good? Copy in an angle. I needed to go over that because that's exactly what I'm going to do again in a second, but I'm going to call it a parallel line construction. Anybody have any issues right now before we move on? Because that's all you're doing for me right now in this next one. I know the next one. Go ahead. Go to your notes now. I know the next one says a parallel line, but we're going to copy an angle here and I'll show you how. I'll apologize right now, we have a little issue with the directions. It says construct a line parallel to M and through N, and I have, li I have line L and point P, so that causes a problem, huh? So can you guys just quickly change line M to line L and point N through point P for me real quick, just so we all match up. So I know some of you are probably wondering, how the heck are we going to make this magic happen? All I'm giving is a point and a line, and you better believe you're just not lining up your straight edge through point P and drawing it in. We're going to use that compass somehow. First step, you can grab your straight edge, but not to make a parallel line, but make a transversal going through P and line L. I do not care what angle it goes through. All right, so please make a good size transversal right now that goes through point P and line L. I don't care what angle it goes at. 
probably don't want to do that. Everyone all set? Okay, we are now going to copy this angle. But we don't need to make a ray like we did before because take a look. Everyone see point P extended? There's our ray we're going to copy it onto. So that construction we just did, I just did with you, instead of drawing our own ray, it's already there for us. It's right here. So we're going to take this angle and copy it onto this ray, just like we did. All right, so first step. Put your compass on the vertex of the angle you're copying. And make an arc through the two rays. Go up to point P. Remember, that's our ray now. I know some of you may be freaking out because it's not horizontal. It's okay. Go ahead and copy that arc onto your ray P. Boom. Some of you guys may need to make that transverse a little longer if it doesn't hit. That's fine. Just grab your edge and make your transverse a little longer if it doesn't hit. Remember what we did next? Open, go back. Using your compass, measure the distance between both points of intersection. Everybody have the distance. Some of you guys are getting ahead of me, which is great. Now remember, where should I put my compass point here? Put it back on P or this point of intersection? Where am I going to go? Point of intersection. Now here's the only thing you want to worry about is that when you make this next arc, it's on the same side of the transversal as the angle you're copying. So I don't want to make my arc mark over here because now they'd be on opposite sides. I want to make sure my two angles are on the same side of the transversal and you'll see why at the end of this. Oh, I hate when that happens. I got to make my first one longer. There we go. And hopefully now when you line up your straight edge and with point P in that point of intersection, uh, you should have a parallel line, not a slanted line, I hope. When I line it up here, okay, should be pretty parallel to line out when you draw it through. Just put the finishing touches on. Tell me they're parallel. Put some markings on there that say they're parallel to each other. Sure you draw it all the way through. Guys, some of you draw and draw a parallel line, line all the way through, please. Some of you all the way through, not a parallel ray, a parallel line.
Well, why did why did they turn out parallel? That's my question. You just saw these set of why did these set of steps I just give you turn out to be a parallel line? Uh, what do you know those about these two angles here? The one that you copied and the one that you made. They're what? They're congruent, right? They got the same measure. And what type of angles did they end up being? We talked this unit. These are what? So they're congruent and they're corresponding. What ends up happening if I have two congruent corresponding angles? I get parallel lines. Absolutely. So that's why they're parallel. You're, you're making two congruent corresponding angles. All right. Questions? All right. Now I'm going to go hands off. I want to see you do one on your own. Take a look at the next one. Construct a, well, first of all, let's talk quadrilateral. How many sides? Four sides. Okay, so we're going to make a four-sided figure. One pair of those sides are going to be parallel to each other. And two out of the four sides have to be length A and length B. All I want you guys to do right now is make me a pair of parallel lines right now. Okay, don't worry about A and B. Do not worry about A and B. So draw yourself a line right now. Draw yourself a line, get yourself a point somewhere off the line. And I'll walk around and I want to see you make your own set of parallel lines right now. Don't worry about A and B yet. I'll worry about it at the end. I just want a pair of parallel sides right now. Okay, so go ahead, draw yourself a pair of parallel lines right now. Draw your transversal in, copy the angle onto the ray. We got this. Okay, we have a pair of parallel lines. Now the only thing we need is line segment A and line segment B to get on there. Okay, so decide where you want to put your quadrilateral. Do you want to make it to the right of the transversal or to the left of the transversal? That's a decision you make. We won't make a class decision on that. You make that by yourself. What I need first is copy one of the line segments. So go ahead, measure one of the line segments. This is the first construction I showed you at the beginning of the year. So measure with your compass one of the line segments. And again, decide if you want to do this to the right or the left of the transversal. And the easiest way to do it is probably on your parallel lines, make one parallel line length A and the other parallel line length B. So I have right now, I have length A right now on my compass. So I'm going to go on to one of the parallel lines on one side of the transversal, and I'm going to copy A on there. There's A right there. From here to here is length A for me. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over to B. And 
probably the easiest way for me to copy B would be to put it. Oh, we're gonna look at that. We're gonna run into each other. It's all right. That's just total coincidence right here that it ended up being on that same arc. So here's what I have right now. I have length A down here, and you don't need to copy that down, but I have length B right here. I want to see you finish your quadrilateral right now because your compass is done. How can you make a four-sided figure now? That's got two parallel sides, a pair of parallel sides, and length A and B. Let me see if you can figure out how to finish that construction now. Got A, have B, I got two sides. Hey, you got a third side. How do I get that fourth side to finish the quadrilateral? Again, so we got still we have a little confusion, which is fine. Take a look. I have side A, I have side B, I have a third side of the quadrilateral. Where would the fourth side come into play now? And the fourth side would come into play connecting where they intersected. Okay, so wherever A landed, wherever B landed, I'm connecting those points of intersection. Do I have a quadrilateral? Are two sides A and B? Are two sides parallel? Okay, fine. I did what I was asked. Could this quadrilateral look different? Yeah, these could have been your, you know, this could have been A, that it could have been B. They didn't necessarily have to be on the parallel sides, but for us, that was probably the easiest way to do it. Any questions on parallel lines? Comfortable making a set of parallel lines? Okay, because the next two are review. You may not remember them, but we did do them in unit one. That is perpendicular lines. So let's review this one. A line perpendicular, meaning what? it's going to form a what with this line? A right angle, but it's got to go through P. Got to go through P though. Any suggestions? Because we did do this one. Can I do that little fish thing here? Is that what I want to do? The fish thing? Remember I open up my compass more than halfway, make an arc, go the other way. Is that one going to work there? Uh, nope, because that only goes through midpoints. And this is a what here, a line or a line segment? A line, so there are no midpoints on a line, so that won't work. Anybody remember the other way? Here's a little hint. Put your compass point on P to start. Make an arc now that intersects that line. Twice, Twice yes. So open up your compass, close it, whatever you got to do. But you want to make sure you make an arc that intersects in two spots from point P. I usually, you don't have to, but I usually suggest after you do that arc, open it up a little wider. Now, where's my compass going? Yep, both points of intersection. My compass is going on both points of intersection. And making, you can do it above or below it, doesn't matter, above or below the line. Two more arcs that intersect each other. Ah! Uh. Try that again. There we go. Let's go over here. Draw. And this is some of you are experiencing why I ask you to open up your compass a little wider, because if you keep it the same setting and did it above the line, they would intersect right at P. 
And you kind of need another point other than P to line your straight edge up with. So if you guys are getting your two arcs to intersect right at point P, try that little method I just showed you with opening up your compass after the first arc a little wider. Okay, because you, you, you need another point of intersection other than P to line up your straight edge. All right, go ahead, line up your straight edge. Show me it's perpendicular. not use the straight edge. There we go. Show me it's perpendicular. Okay. One down below. Where's the point now? On the line. Doesn't change a darn thing. Same construction. Put your compass point on P, make it hit twice. Open it up a little wider. So go ahead, try that one out. And once you guys get that, you can get, just go on to the next page and get going on your homework once you get that one done.